please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Morris Hills. Today's Friday, February 22nd, this nighttime in the morning. In class news, attention juniors, due to the lack of participation, the Applebee's fundraiser this Sunday has been canceled. Please listen and participate in all future fundraisers so we can have the best junior prom possible. Attention seniors, the last class is currently sponsoring its last fundraiser with which you can raise money to defer the cost of your own prom ticket. You shall have received a pamphlet from your English teacher with information. If you need one, you can ask your teacher, Mrs. Yeager, in room 223. In school news, attention all freshmen, ID cards with pictures must be picked up in the principal's office ASAP. The old cars without pictures have been deactivated and will no longer work on the buses. Replacement ID cards are also ready for pickup in the principal's office for those students that reported one missing, damaged, or never received one. DVDs of the GT Showcase are now on sale in the TV studio for $10. See Mr. Swanick or Mrs. Malandrino in room 230 to place your orders today. All proceeds will go to the TV Production Scholarship Fund. The French, German, and Spanish Honor Societies will be accepted through today to Mrs. Moravi, Mrs. Stevenson, Mrs. Bailey, or to the main office. There will be limited computers block 6 and 8 in the library. In sports news, congratulations to senior wrestler Omar Acevedo who advanced the quarterfinals of the Regent Tournament. Omar, along with Matt Salas and Robert Chappelle, will compete tomorrow and Saturday at Mount Olive High School. Good luck. Come support our ice hockey team as they take on Hunterdon Central in state tournament tomorrow at 6.15 p.m. at Menon Arena. Students should be advised that all areas of the athletic wing, including locker rooms, gyms, and weight room, will be closed after school on Tuesday to, to hosting the fencing state finals. Athletes who are still in season will be directed by their coach as to practice times and locations of that day. And finally, in clubs news, the Hope Club is collecting items to support our local women's shelter, such as new washcloths, bar soap, nair care items, lotion, razors, large hair combs, lip balm, and new baby items, such as diapers, clothing, and wipes. Please drop off new items for donation in room 216 through March 8th. Thank you, Morris Hills. I'm Monty Shaw. And I'm Raina Holster. Please stay tuned for a few special announcements. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. Hey Morris Hills, the class of 2021 is proud to announce a school-wide t-shirt contest that we're running this year. It's a new and fun idea. We encourage all grades to participate. Here are the steps to enter. Step 1. Graphically design or draw your t-shirt design on a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of printed paper. Step 2. Make sure your design is Morris Hills themed, then submit. After all the submissions are in, students will vote for the winning design. This design will be printed on t-shirts and then sold to the school. Don't miss out. Submissions are due February 22nd. Be sure to send all submissions to my email on the screen and feel free to email me with any questions. Go Hills! Each week during the Black History Month, the AACC will commemorate individuals whose achievements and contributions to our lives are to be celebrated and remembered. This week, join us as we honor the renowned statesperson, Ralph Johnson Bunch. Ralph Johnson Bunch was a scholar, educator, Africanist, and diplomat who achieved national and international prominence in 1949 after negotiating armistice agreements in the Middle East for which he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. A political scientist, professor, and diplomat, Bunch advocated the peaceful resolution of conflict and championed the cause of justice and equality for all people, regardless of race or economic status, and played a major role in decolonizing much of the colonial world. Among his most prestigious posts, Bunch in 1959 was appointed Undersecretary General for Special Political Affairs at the United Nations, where he was instrumental in the creation and adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This is the highest position ever held by an American in the UN. Thank you. 